What is up guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Jesus Conde and today we're going to start painting this character, so let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can see, this is a sketch that I made on paper and I just scanned it. And if you don't know how to do this uh, duplicate of the screen that I just did, uh, it's fairly easy. Uh, there is a link in the description to uh, teach you how to do that. So um, I have my sketch on the back and then I applied a uh, dark tone uh, at 10% just to not have that completely white screen uh, back at me because man that hurts in the eyes when you have when you're painting like four hours so that's one of the first things that I do and quickly I just jump as you can see with just a normal circle brush that has transfer on it is not really that uh, complex of a brush and I just wanna get into it adding some um, values and I'm gonna start with what I think are the darkest parts of it so you may want to look at um, uh, the mouth uh, things like in the neck where you can see like there will be like fully shadow the holes in the in the nose and stuff like that and then you can jump into less um, dark areas um, I'm trying to have a very simple kind of lighting coming from the top uh, right in this case because it's looking at the left but you will see that at some point I'm going to turn it to the other side so you have to kind of be aware of that all the time if you're doing that yourself you're flipping your canvas you have to be aware of where the light is coming from all the time um, on the sketch something uh, like that just happened the thing about flipping the the the, the painting um, on the sketch, what I like about this way of working is that when I'm drawing on paper, I'm, I'm looking at the design a very a specific way. Like, I'm not thinking about other things. I'm thinking about just in shapes and stuff like that and the idea in general. I'm not, I'm not worried too much about how silly can look or how ugly or how not well drawn is because my drawings on paper are not perfect. So, but I'm not concerned about any of that because I know once I get it here on the computer, I can kind of do whatever I want. So right now, as you guys can see, it, I'm kind of changing the whole um, shapes of the face a little bit. Now he has a bit of a more like a meaner look to him a kind of a um, more serious tone. The first sketch that I did on paper didn't look like this at all. It was kind of a, uh, it was looking kind of dumb, on, honestly. It was, and my idea wasn't to do like a super smart or super badass alien, but more of a something that you wouldn't immediately see as a threat. You know, it's kind of like a, this is just gonna be a pilot on a, on a race ship. And it's gonna be kind of a, just a, like you will see a normal race pilot, um, like if if he was human, but in this case is an alien, right? So you you are not expecting to be somebody like super badass looking or extremely complex design, like at least in my opinion, is not something that I'm kind of looking for. I'm looking for something more. Uh, not nice, but on, on, on like obviously I want to try something different, but it's more more of um, um yeah, it's kind of like not threat non threatening kind of look. And right now I'm concentrating on the hair a little bit, but um, as you can see, I'm kind of I kind of did all the darkest areas now. There is something about adding wrinkles or like in, in this case I'm working with the kind of like with the shapes of the of the face and the suit and everything and I'm trying to follow the line of what the wrinkles could be and that kind of helps me to visualize this in three dimensions. Um, some areas are really hard to kind of understand the shape that they will have or where, where the shadows will be. Like right now, I'm trying to make 
I, I, I was trying to make there at the left the 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 shape where the eye socket will be and that immediately made me think on adding that shadow on the right between the eye and the nose so it's kind of like these little things here and there and you kind of start to build your the volumes on your creature um you can have uh, uh, I do have a skull in my in my office. Um, it's kind of like a, it, it's just a human skull, but it kind of helps me to understand where some of the kind of bones could be and stuff like that. This is like a really different case because it's an alien, I know, but uh, you have to base yourself somewhere. You cannot just in, try to create everything from scratch. You have to have a base on reality so you can kind of create uh, stuff so in this case I'm, I'm trying to make those eye sockets sockets pop a little bit with shadows and man the nose is gonna be tricky because I don't want to be like a normal human nose um, even though that could work because you know it's not a human it's a uh, obviously some something like we are from another planet right and they also could have oxygen, so it's not really a problem if I had to add a nose like a human. Um, in fact, this one really looks like a human, human nose, just with slight differences. Um, or let's say a terrestrial, like um, from Earth kind of creature. So I'm trying to do something about it, it looks kind of different. And at this point I haven't figured out, figured out that yet too well. <clears throat> I wanted to try doing these uh, because I, I, I have to do them. This is a personal project of mine that has been sitting from quite some time. And finally, I feel like I have the technical level <laughs> that I can kind of pull it off. Um, and some of the things that that I need is to design characters, a ton of them, because they're going to be pilots in this universe. And it's going to be um, some kind of like a race kind of team racing kind of team and <clears throat> yeah man it, it's gonna be a huge amount of things that i have to design and even though i can use um 3d 3d techniques like zbrush and start right away with that i don't want really to have my designs to to rely heavily on 3d uh, zbrush kind of stuff i'm gonna use it don't get me wrong eventually but I want this part of it to be more pure, even though uh, I'm not a purist at all. Like I, I do, I do like this look. I do like this part of the process where you design your stuff in 2D, and I like how it looks. I like the brush strokes and every, all of all of those kinds of things, and that's really what what I'm after here. I'm trying to do something that I feel comfortable and I really like uh, how to how to create it. And also, I know that you guys are not that into the 3D part of things. So I also wanted to give you guys something that you could watch every every week without too much trouble. And not only for the people that is uh, looking at the 3D stuff, right? So as you can see now, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of um less dark values on place and now that i'm starting to add more um darkest in there again you can see the transitions you can see how some of them are way more pronounced than others i'm really sorry about the bird's noise that was sounding in the background a few moments ago anyway so uh, now you can see I'm adding uh, a mid-tone kind of um, um, values here because not everything can be just super darks and super white. You know, you have you want to have something in the middle. And in this case, it's just adding those gray areas, you know, that can help you sell the volume of your creature better. It's not only uh, the darkest and the... And the clearest and also 
getting risky a little bit with adding some details here and there not a huge amount it's just some things that can make things look less boring i will certainly add more eventually this haven't this is not finished uh this is just the first step that i'm taking on my when i'm doing creature design and they are um done this way like in 2d instead of 3d these are the the kinds of things that i do um in my work you know it's like uh, just a pass on volumes and then adding something in the back like color or even sometimes i even use photos um but i do have these values already in and i really like the how it's turning out uh at the end this is something this is what i did with the nose and i, I like it i like how, how it looks and yeah I really hope you guys like this kind of content because I'm going to be doing more of it. Um, the next week, we're going to be adding color to this guy and you can make suggestions. Uh, what kind of what color of a skin should this guy have? And yeah, man, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, um, see you next time.